after the stuff. So I gotta make a seven moon year. But I am going to also look for all of the shrines that I need to worry about. Along with conquering the Hebra shrines. Then there's also the treasures. Because you saw the lizard lakes. Also, I'm gonna delete all of these because I don't need them anymore. I'm gonna delete all the way. Because I'm not gonna do the monster representation either. Don't even need the tomes either. I had to, I'm deleting a lot here. Now I only have five left. Or five left that I have yet to delete, but don't want to delete. Because the, all of this was from the beginning, too. But after, I hope, tooling out with whatever treasure is in whatever place of the town, I'm going to look for all the shrines that I've missed, which I'm very sh certain there is a lot that I've missed. Along with something I started here. I don't remember what I, what I did there. But at some point, I'm also going to fly along the skies. And find all the shrines there. Now I count, the, count how many shrines I've conquered now, because I don't really remember. So I'm gonna just see. I'm also doing the Lomay Ruins. But, shrine-wise, there's one that I haven't conquered that, that would be Courage. Okay, so I can't so I can't teleport there. There's a few places where I'm sure there will be a shrine at. And then there's these fields that have stuff in them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yep. Nineteen. I think that's twenty shrines out of thirty-two. I guess there's thirty-two shrines in the sky. Might be wrong in there's and I miscounted, which I'm gonna double check real quick. Also, I don't need this starred anymore. Oh, I only started because of, there were fish down there. I'm not gonna have it be a star then. I'm gonna have it be a diamond. I'm gonna double check. And now I'm gonna let this be a star. I'm double checking my count. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, I'm just gonna do it this way so it'll be easier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, screw it. That's not easier. One, two, three, four. One, two, no, screw it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Yeah, that's 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh man, now I, now I lost count again. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna subtract these four and just count the ones around them. That would be a lot easier. One, two, three, nope, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 19 shrines. Thought I counted up to 20. Maybe I miscounted and there was one up there. So that means that there are still another... I'm actually curious if the battlefields also unlock shrines. Which means that this, 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 and this are all shrine locations. Might be wrong, but I don't know. What's even funnier to me was that Hyrule Castle in the last video, which in the last video we've, and I might as well just make it one video, so whatever I said in the announcement didn't even count. I'm not, I'm just gonna unselect this. But, what we did in the last video was we defeated the Marbled Guma, and then, with a lot of viewings, we went to Hyrule Castle at long last to fight against the Phantoms, meaning fan the Phantom Ganons, that were overtaking the castle, but it was way more than that, and, I'm, and I only saw the glimpse of Phantom Ganon from the thumbnail reading to know that you face him, but... It was way more than that. There were five Phantom Ganons. I also have yet to fight, or I mean help, the Koroks. And also I don't really need to pin this anymore. How many pins do I have? I have one, right? How many pins? I have three placed down. One is up in the sky. But where was the other pin? Part of me thinks I was, I was pinning the bridge or something, but that's not it either. Doesn't matter. Let's go find Tulin, and because I'm pretty sure I've done every side quest here, I might I might have missed a couple, but I don't really know. I'm learning so much. Maybe he's at the old elder, elder's place. If not, he's at the landing. Where Valley's landing. The resting white bird. Which I have to go up there to find. There's where Valley's landing, so he's not there. There they are. They were right next to the elder's place that is no longer there. I shall keep it clean. Thank you for saving our village. Where is the King Canelli? He is out at the flight range at the moment. When the blizzard struck, he volunteered to ensure the flight range was not damaged by the relentless snows. Though the blizzard was has subsided now, he seems very content to stay there. Flight range is just beyond the flags, visible to the north. As my husband, Tiba, has assumed the duties of our elder, Canelli has offered to don't devote himself to the flight tutelage, if that's how you say it. While he's a, he is away, I have made keeping his house my responsibility. That's something I might look for. This calls for a new bow. Hmm. I was proud to bequeath my great eagle bow to my fully fledged son, of course. But it does leave me without the bow that I've used for so long. Hmm. An elder shouldn't go unarmed, so I'll be crafting myself another one as soon as I can. The bow I gave Tulin was a masterpiece. After so many years of use, it was like another limb to, for me. Hmm. But I think I have it in me to craft one just as good. Mm -hmm. If you want your own great eagle, eagle bow, I wouldn't mind crafting one for you too while I'm at it. I will need a swallow bow, five bundles of wood, and three diamonds. <laughs> Those materials might not be easy to come by, but you collect them all, 
then the bow is yours. Legacy of Dorito. Hey, hey Link. Here to see how the village is doing. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, one other thing. Something else came up that I wanted to ask you about. Hearth asked me to help him sort through some ancient literature. You'll never believe what I found written in one of his books. Huh. Sternita, golf lambs and surf limbs. Hidden treasure. Sleep in the center of the three secret hot springs in the mountains. Guide the three waters to that place. When it fills, the slumbering treasure will awaken once more. There's got to be something good waiting for whoever solves the riddle, right? Secret Hot Springs, eh? I've been to Sternita Secret Hot Spring a few times. It's northwest of Rito Village. <laughs> it's the best. A quick soak is enough to heal your wounds in the blink of an eye. It keeps you from freezing, too. But I don't know about the others. The Hebra Mountains are big pr big place. <sighs> I'm not sure we could cover all of them. But that slumbering treasure is pretty tempting. If only we could find it. Treasure of the Secret Springs. That's what we're doing. Favor of Tulin. Finding the treasure that is in between the hot springs he told us where one of them was in the mountains it's supposed to be right here which possibly means that it is right here like somewhere around there also I gotta get more arrows because I only have 14 Also, I don't want that giant boomerang. I'll break this first, which was easy to break. And then I'm going to wield this and combine it with the soldier construct four horn. Thir 52 damage. And I'm just leaving up to the rest of them. There we go. Oh, look, a Lionel. But well, which kind? It's a blue Lionel. Which I think I can handle. Since my armor defense is at its best. And what weapon I'm going to use when he's vulnerable is this. The white maned Lionel Smasher. But for the actual thing, using the Lionel Spear against the blue Lionel. It's sort of funny how few of the Lionels there are. It's still funny to me how many maps I've. how many towers I've conquered, meaning how. Well, for one thing, how many shrines have been conquered and somewhat. Now I'm gonna... Apparently he noticed me.
Oh, whoops. I'm using the smasher. So, what do I use? I'm going to use this. heal before I die. Screw it. I'm using my only heart elixir. Finally, my night shield is low. Darn it. that. I'm sort of curious about how durable this master sword is, if it if it has durability or if it is un unlimited. I'm hoping it's unlimited because so far I've been able to handle it just fine. I fought against three bosses with it and it hasn't even come close to breaking. That's a, that's a cool thing. Or breaking meaning losing itself. So much want to use something. I'm not going to do it. Yay, it broke! Never thought I'd celebrate the shield breaking. Because now I'm going to do this. Darn it. Sword I'm going to use because screw it, I might as well use something. Not this. I'm gonna use this. Oh wow, Tulin finished him off. That's nice. Now we get to see what he dropped. Arrows, which is great. Blue maned Lionel Mace Horn. Which adds how much? 29. And the blue maned Lionel Saber Horn. Adds 33 damage. Mighty Lino Bow. I need that. So I'm going to drop the Quick Draw Mighty Construct Bow. Because this bow is my favorite bow. And the Knight's Halberd. So I sort of missed the Crushers and stuff. Oh well. Going on. It's pretty funny because 
a lot of these videos are going to be exploration videos, and along, along the f with the fact that I have yet to complete side quests, because there's so many side quests that I haven't even done yet. So I'm going to go here in a moment. There's so many that I have yet to do. So I'm gonna also do that, and that will be on the miscellaneous part. Like after I conquer every shrine, then I'm going to do every side quest, then the deaths. Side adventures, the only one I have left, other than battling Master Koga, is to fill out the compendium. Sort of funny how high my armor defense is, and yet I've managed to conquer a lot with that little defense. And that blood moon that you saw in the cutscene, I'm not counting that as a blood moon, that is actually an event. Oh, that's a camp, that's a campground for them. I thought that it was something else. Flame Emitter Club. I'm actually finally going to destroy the fused material there. And I'm going to fuse that with this. And in the end, I'm also going to upgrade my inventory a little. Ice. You know what I'm going to do with that. Fire fruit. I'm not gonna blow up the TNT when I'm that that close to it. Got him. I think it's just all of the ice breath was Alphos. Darn it, I missed. Trying to get him. There we go. How many of those horns do I have? I have ten. Man, I wasted so much just to get that. And I know there's a chest in there too, which might hold something useful. Weapons wise, I only have. I only have a good, few, one good fused weapon, and then the others are good for rock mining. I swear there's a chest here, but yet there's nothing here. Hey there. Oh, thank you. Ah. Hebra West Summit. Wait, I have yet to take a picture of that. Oh yeah, I did. I thought I didn't. Darn it. It's a good thing that the quest doesn't immediately cancel when you do one thing. Unbearable cold. So that means I'm going to wear... the chest plate. And remembering that the two star makes it so that you will, you will become unfreezable, which is great against 
a variety of things. Also, I'm hopeful that I'm right that there will be a coal rock up here. Because originally there would be. Oh, it's this. Well, no time like the present. Ah, oh, dang it. It's a no hesitation round. Oh, dang, that was close. It's like a very fast time challenge. I'm gonna help the Koax reach their friends at some point. And that'll help a lot with my Koax seeds. I'm hoping to go back to... I swear, there's so many names to remember. No, it's not supposed to be that hard. Oh, wait, this is the Ice Talus. I'm trying to remember his name. I just had it! There's just so many names. And normally he's my buddy. I don't even know how I'm forgetting him. Has to, gosh darn it, that was an easy one. Because I see him a lot, and yet I tend to forget. For some odd reason. I see, tell us! I'm gonna awaken him first. It. There we go. I died? I didn't think my armor defense was that bad. How many hearts did I even have? Oh, that makes sense for how I died then. Funny that it steamed like that, because when it's awakened, that normally happens. I also love when that song is like a fade. Ah! It's hard to get away from that. Also, I love this theme, still. So now I'm gonna use this and possibly break it. Starring that location because the only locations I'm starring. Oh wow, this is neat too. I gotta figure out what to do with that because I could use it on this, the soldier's claymore, but that's not gonna cut it. I don't know what to do though. Oh, why not a giant boomerang? That would be a hilarious mix. Now it is a Frost Talus Boomerang. 38 damage because of adding 27. That's a good mining tool more than anything else. And at some point I'm just going to break this because it's not worthwhile. And, the, and then the Eightfold Long Blade, which I won't even use. 
much. Well, also be break. Me a thing to break. Oh my God! Oh yeah. Uh, the hot spring that I'm looking for is over here. It's sort of funny that some of the Korok locations that you normally know, sometimes they aren't there, and sometimes they are different. Like, they used to be a rock that you pick up in Breath of the Wild, but they turn into a, an, a timed event or a balloon targeting event. That is really tough, or really simple, dependent on where you were before. What sucks it even more is that I don't have a climber's bandana on and I really can't risk my armor defense being even worse than what it is right now because my armor defense is 20 is not 20 ah it is huh it's 25 yeah I still have trouble against the ice talus shine nearby was above or below biggest bet it's below, but first I found one of the hot springs. Hylian pine combs. Cool, Safina, which I don't think I took a picture of, but I did. Sure fins, secret hot spring. Tiny bit. Until my heart's reached fifteen. That works. So it's this way, but is it below? I'm betting it's below. But what I know, this is an enemy in sight here. It's another Boko. But I'd much rather free it because I want to battle it. Black Boko. Doesn't matter. Haha! -ha! So sort of funny that. When you're near a hostile animal as well, they run off when you when they see even an enemy die. Or am I wrong? And I got two meats for that. I've yet to even go on a bear, and I really want to know where to find that. I want to go on a bear because it's hilarious, and I bet the stables won't accept a bear, and it will be like, "Why did you get a bear? You're not supposed to get a bear." Yep, it's below. Hawk! So it's below, but where below? It's like somewhere over here, and I'm gonna start it. Just in case. I see Publets, so I haven't taken care of those guys. I don't know what I was talking about there. Moose! I don't think I took a picture of that either! A bantam moose! That's perfect. Let's see how far below. Oh my word! Icefall Foothills Cave. Of course, there's a wolf. Took way short of a time when you were originally get. You were originally. When you were in the original, now you're taking an even longer time to recharge. Wow. 
Okay, so this is like an important shrine location. Do I melt this too? Nope. It's here. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a scenario that I've already encountered. Not to attack it. I'm trying to not to attack it as much as possible because this is my only good sword. I did it again. I didn't pay attention. of them got that got that handled so it's supposed to be that way but then where am I supposed to, oh there there's a shrine but I haven't found the bubble frog yet unless it's supposed to be near the shrine but it's not Otak Shrine. Oh, another one of these. Proving Grounds Traps. Well, now I'm betting I know what they mean by traps.
the shield I forgot. Oh, 15. The spikes do do 10 damage. Or at least add that much damage. I'm gonna lure all of these guys to a trap. That guy avoid. Okay. Got that. And I'm trying my best not to take any hits. Wow, that worked out really well. So next nice spear, which I'm going to equip in a and then fuse with this. Nope. Hold, drop, fuse. Fifteen damage. Well, the trap didn't work. That's fine. So my longsword. Apparently, I didn't take a picture of this. Oh, I did, but I never picked it up. I guess because I didn't see the use of it. Alright, did that, and that took me, like, didn't take me long, I meant, like, it, I took so much damage, I had three hearts left, so I didn't want to risk anything. The funniest thing is, I've yet to face the fifth soldier and captain constructs to know how much damage their horns do. Now, what is in this chest? Something that I'll be able to carry. Nope, it's a mighty construct bow with quick shot. Do I need it? Yes, because this is running low on durability. The next video that I'm doing is going to be hilarious because I don't know how long it's going to take me, but it, but it will be about time that I figure out the mystery of the giant floating island in the sky that I'm calling the giant floating pillar in the sky. That is not really a pillar, but I call it that. Because there's mo it's most likely around. If anything, I should cheat through and... Just put it on the sheet on the sensor plus just to see where it is. Which I'm going to do. Because I know I have it. I don't know why I didn't just do this sensor. It's a monster for what I know. As much as I wish it was a creature, it's a monster. Because they don't attack you, they they just blow bubbles and try to repel you from them. Unless it is a creature. Somehow I thought that I'd find it here. Where's it telling me to go? Right here? So it's this way. Oh. It's a good thing I cheesed through. Because 
because I would have never found it. Gonna shock it with the good old electric tooth jelly. Somehow I thought I would be in the monster category. I guess because I originally would think that it would make sense for it to be in the monster category. That I got so used to it, to that kind of theory that I actually thought it was. So I conquered that shrine and it ended up being proving grounds. That honestly makes me wonder how many more shrines are actual trials and how many more shrines are proving grounds or rewarding shrines. So I'm trying to glide, it's not like me. Even funnier, I'm wondering where the silver Lynels are because I know that there are silver Lynels somewhere. And also, this is a balloon spot. I guess it's just in case you are stuck and want to, and want to get out as soon as possible. I don't really care much about trying to get out. I care a lot about seeing what to find over here. Not that. Gosh darn it! How many more things am I gonna waste? Oh, that was it. I'm not able to ascend through that. This will take a while. Try my best to do this as much as I can. I'm very curious though. In the depths, did I stamp anywhere that... Okay, so I think this is a boss area. The one I stamped with a diamond. But I'm thinking about stamping it with a skull instead. Because my original reasoning for why I didn't skull the boss was because there were other bosses I thought about skulling, which were the Lionel, the... Well, mainly the Lionels that are like silver Lionels or white Lionels. And then the Moldugas, because the Moldugas are actually very useful to battle against. And the Gleox. But, instead I'm battling, I'm basically going to... Oh, come on. I'm going to stamp the Gleox, and probably the Lynels. And probably the Hinoxes. Probably not though. Also I gotta change my sensor target to the shrine, shrine of Light. Oh, apparently... It saw... Somewhere... Another Bubble Frog. Which tells me there's a cave nearby. It changed its mind. So I was holding a bow and it just decided to run off. Does this have... I know I shouldn't do this, but I'm doing it. Icicle. A chest, I thought so, was inside. Probably... I was wrong, I thought it was going to be old treasure map. Because I have, there has to be one more old treasure map somewhere because so far I have four X's and I conquered one of the, one of the five, so that's why I said four. So mainly five X's, X loot. Including the one I already conquered, so it makes me wonder where I'm supposed to go for that. 
<laughs> it's funny that I'm conquering the Hebra region when I should be doing the treasure part, but it's mainly because I'm trying to find the shrines in the Hebra region so I don't have to come back here. Despite the fact I'm also going to the late Laneru region. <laughs> That's cool about that charge attack. Okay, so it's an enemy apparently. But what kind? Blue, the Zalfos. Haha! <laughs> 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 And then there's a chest here. Large Zonai charge. Oh, that's a sober. I'm gonna equip this, and I'm going to use the blue main Lionel Saber Horn. I can't. Wait. Why not? Now I can. <laughs> 43 damage. The blue main Lionel Reaper. Heh! <laughs> nice. Ow! Oh, now it's... Now it's near Gunners. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why the heck? I was trying to shield myself. That was not me not paying attention that time. That was me trying to shield at the last second, and it didn't work. Yay! Yay! Not that. Come on. Got it. Oh, stone axe! That's worthless! Well, sort of worthless. But I can fuse it with something else. It is mad that I took it. But what I'm going to take it, what I'm going to use. Uh huh. What I'm going to use. is. Not the boss Boko horn. The Horblin horn, if I can find it. Screw it, I'm using the boss Boko horns. The boss Boko horns are axe like, anyways. So I'm gonna do it with this. The silver boss Boko Horn is nowhere to be seen, so I'm using this for now. <laughs> I'm not giving you back anything! Instead, I'm giving you this! <laughs> Of course that arrow counted. 
I'm just going to leave it to the rest of them. Never mind, I'm not. Sort of funny how well they work together. Oh, he's dead. Thank you. Now to go over here. So, I'm gonna actually try to get this treasure before I end my video. Because originally, in the next video, I would have abandoned all of that and went to the skies to finally figure out the mystery of the pillar in the sky that is not really a pillar, but I called it that because it looks like a pillar to me. Giant ice sculpture right there. I'm wondering about that. And there's also a shrine quest I've not completed and I really should complete. Because I'm betting it's a rewarding shrine that used to lead to not to nothing useful, but I bet it's not gonna be useless anymore. Oh, it's another one of these things, is it? Yeah. Oh, never mind. It's a Korok! I thought it was gonna be a Korok challenge! <laughs> so, in between these springs, this one is next, because the springs that I, did, that I encountered before was this, which was. The Sheraton Secret Hot Spring. Then, then this would have been the other. And then this would have been the last one. So the in between is somewhere over here. So that's why I'm going down there. But I'm going to the spring first. The Sternita Secret Hot Spring. Is this a giant? It is. But this originally led to a shrine. It doesn't anymore. It is melting. Well, what does this lead to now? Because originally it led to a shrine, but there's no shrine here anymore, so it must be lead to something. One more. It leads to this a cave. North Byron Snow Shelf Cave. A lot of bomb flowers, too. Yay! Oh, <laughs> I wasn't trying to do that. Wait a minute. Oh. Well, what do we have here? An old flight range place. But the worst thing is, I don't have the arrows. So I'm going to do this. Darn it, that did nothing for me. Good thing I can equip these. Come on. Oh, wow. Wait. This is the cave. This is a treasure! I found this on pure accident! 
I didn't think this was the ca this was the treasure. Huh. That surprises me. I am surprised with that, honestly. So it really wasn't impossible. I didn't even think this was possible at all, but they proved me wrong. Oh, look. This must be, unless I'm wrong. Ow! Ah! Come on! So some of them aren't springs, but this is. That leads to the treasure path right there. Honestly, I did not expect to conquer that. A chest! Look at that! What's in here? Five arrows. That's perfect. So now we get to see where the bubble frog is. I could just cheat through again. Let's see if I can find it with this. So I'm going to do that. Above. Aha! It's right there! Time to shock you. Ah. So now I gotta find that giant sculpture from before and go towards the path. Oh. There we go. This is the treasure. The Va Meadow Divine Helm. Cold resistance. A helm worn by a warrior who protected the Rito in a time beyond memory. It's said to depend the bond with the Rito when worn by a Hylian. I wonder if I really need those sticky lizards anymore. Anyways, going back to Rito Village and telling everyone that I found the thing I was supposed to find, then I'm ending the video and concluding that in the next video we are going to figure out that mystery of the pillar in the sky. And then after that, it's just going to be smooth sailing and trying to find all of the shrines and completing every side quest that we can. I'm not going to complete every side quest, but I'm going to complete as many as I can. And then for equipping, I'm going to equip this. I don't need to buy any snow quill wear because I already did. Two are sleeping. You both just woke up, did you? Oh. That's cute.
torch, a pot lid, soup ladle. I'm actually gonna cook up some things before I talk to Tulin. Gourmet steak, or gourmet meat, or whatever. Cabenza wheat, and acorn. That works. Jigolo tree nuts, prime meat, apple, prime fruit, and that's it. Wild berry, apple, palm fruit, prime meat, and this. Gourmet meat, prime meat, meat. Salt grilled gourmet meat, 13 healing. Almost done. Just a few more. One, two, three, one, two. I think I'm gonna make tomato soup. I did not mean to eat that. Oh well. Tomatoes. And salt. I got eight star fragments, which is nuts. I'm not gonna sell any of them because I know they're useful for more than more things. Looking for rock salt. I'm just seeing what this makes. So maybe, how does tomatoes are eh, tomatoes are fruit, aren't they? I always think they're vegetables. For some odd reason, I always think they're vegetables. Cane sugar, because yeah. Copious simmered fruit. And now I'm going to make copious steamed mushrooms. Zap shroom, silent shroom, razor shroom, this, and sun shroom. And then I'm going to make another copious with a big hearty truffle in the mix. Ten. Now it's gonna be with something big. And those big things are big hearty truffle, this, gourmet meat, honey, which isn't that great, trust me, and I'm gonna do it with Mmm. Rock salt. 18, that's good. It'll freeze them solid. Oops. Ah, these are, those are mine, mister. Hold on. Is your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows? That's okay then. I don't mind giving them to you. But hear me out first. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid, which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. Mwaha! Problem is, I can't go and pick the fruit, since papa only tells me not to go out on my own. <sighs> it's so not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long, but without ice fruit, I can't make it. Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. I have a lot of Mister, what's that you've got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Can I have one, please? Sure, you can have as many as you want. Now I can finally make my invention. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what could, what would happen with other materials. You could make arrows with all sorts of effects. Ah. Woo! Listen to me. With every breath, I spew up brilliance. Fwah! But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's your thank you present. Ten arrows. Ah. You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that would go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, getting my name out there, and one day, I'll be a world famous arrow maker. One my papa can be proud of. Sleepy time now. Sleepy time. It's so late. Dad gets crabby if I'm up past my bedtime. 
The sooner I go to sleep, the sooner I can wake up and start making arrows again. But it's 640. What the heck? You sleep in the freaking morning? What are you? A nocturnal? Oh, hi, Link. Good to see you here. Hmm. hmm. Where do you think the slumbering treasure is? Could it really be hidden somewhere in the Hebrew Mountains? I found it in the Hebrew Mountains. Huh? No way! Are you wearing the hidden treasure that was supposed to be at the center of the three hot springs? So it was real after all. Good thing I found that riddle, huh? Way to go, Link. I think this was meant for a sage, but it looks too heavy for me. Maybe it'll fit once I'm older. There's definitely some kind of power stored up in it. Maybe if you wore it, it would make your con connection to me stronger. Yeah, you should be the one to use the helm. That power that it has is bound to be useful in your search for Princess Zelda. The spirit, my spirit is always with you, Link. If you're ever in trouble, I'll help you out the first thing. Now I want to know what he means by that. Does that mean that I can that the recharge is better, or is it just bonding moments? What I said before. Before I end it here. I am going to the Great Fairy Kotera, or whatever her name was, Kesa, or whatever, and upgrading my champion's leathers if I can. But next time, we're figuring out the solution of. We're figuring out the solution of the. My word, I can't say it. Pillar in the Sky. And seeing what it's all about. Along with figuring out what the heck I pinned because I cannot find it anywhere. While I'm at it, I should also check to see if I have the materials for a fan plane. Like the ultimate fan plane that I'm able to make. And if not, if the Zonite can handle that. There she is. I'm calling it a she because I don't know if it's... Uh, male or female, I've always called it a female before because it looks like a female to me. I might be wrong. Wait a minute. Oh, that's an enemy place. Please tell me I can do I can make this work. <laughs> I'm just copying Sidon at that point. I'm just letting all of them attack. Yay! Soldier's broadsword, soldier's shield. Am I able to place it down now? I already lost Nadra too. All because of that. Which sucks, even though I should know where she went. The worst thing is, I'm not even able to get there. So, me seeing Nadra there. You know what? I'm gonna try to make it work. If it does work. There she is. It looks like I'm pretty much there. scale oh wait wait that's a bubble frog so there's a cave nearby East Hill I never came here Oh, 
Oh, there's the pen. I actually sort of remembered I was going to explore that later, but I never did. I landed in her water. I've attracted her. Kotera, I always forget your name. I'm just saying if I can. I don't think I can yet. Sure, looks like I can't. And also, I forgot something here. I need five more large Zonites. So where's the champion's leathers? I needed one more silent princess, so that's one thing I'm going to be looking for. And I finally got Nadra scale. I also gotta find Feroz and get his scale. And I need two of his scales, one more of Nadra scales, and one more of Dinral scales, and then I'd be able to upgrade these leathers to the utmost to the best mainly. Also, it looks like some of these... Oh, wait. They do show the charge. Never mind. I was like, I, it looks like some of these doesn't have charges on them, but they do. And also, how much... Okay, it's 500 in order to upgrade it to the maximum potential. And that's up to 20. So there's a lot that I'm going to be looking for. So I'm going to teleport up to where I'm going, which is up here. I'm finally going to figure out the mystery of this in the sky. But it looks like I can actually go up there from here. I'm actually gonna do it from here. Unless this doesn't have the fans, which it doesn't. Off screen, I'm going to get the fans. See you guys next time.